Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick video just to show you the heat exchanger experiment that I've been conducting today. So, what it is, we've got a section of flue pipe there. We've got a copper coil in the middle. I'll talk you through that in a minute. I'm using thermosiphoning to heat up a container of water at the top. Okay, so as you can see, there's no electric pump or anything. All we're using here is thermosiphoning. Allows uses a natural convection of water to flow around the system. Okay, so we've got a single ring burn on the bottom there. Color gas propane, just on the scales. So we can just see the amount of weight, the amount of gas being used. Okay, you see me have a quick look in there. So you can sort of see the coils going around the outside. Obviously oh, so that burner there is just mimicking what would be flue gas. It could be from a wood burning stove, coal fire, gas stove. You know, if you had a really hot extraction fan that might work. Okay. So this is what we've got in the middle then. That is, that is currently, that's, that's the second one I've made. There's one in there at the moment. It's 10 mil flexi pipe. You've got 17 coils there. And it's connected to the bucket of water up here. Just give you a quick shot in there. Okay, so it's coming out of the bottom. It's down a bit of flexi rubber pipe. And right into the bottom of the coil. So it's got a bit of insulation here just to try and minimise losses throughout the system. Okay, so it goes all the cold water goes into the bottom, flows all the way around up the coil, and works its way out the top. I'll show you in a minute, it goes back into the bucket up there. So again, just trying to use a bit of insulation there to minimise losses. Now that section of flue pipe there is six inch diameter in the middle. It's insulated as well. Okay, so if you just have a quick look at the bucket up here, you can probably see the steam coming off. Okay, so the water's feeding back in there. We've got a digital temperature gauge as well. See what the temperature of the water is. Look there, about. It's around 70, 75 degrees. I mean, it fluctuates a little bit when you get some water come out of the come out of the thermosiphon there. What it is, that is just a, a normal plastic bucket. You just wrap the outside in the towel just to try and lose some, keep some of that heat in there. Okay, so this could be fitted to any any stove, any any flue pipe. Now that burner down the bottom is burning it. We've got the flue gas going in at 245 degrees. It's coming out at 172.5 degrees. So the creosote formation starts at around 135. So there's still quite a bit of margin there within safe realms for evaporating. So you can really see the heat coming off that water there. So just to reiterate, no power leads, it's all just natural convection. Now the copper coil being used has actually got fins around it, and this one hasn't here. We've got five fins per coil, just to act as an extended surface 
to try and increase the heat transfer area. Now I've been recording the temperature in this system, it's taken about 50 minutes to get it to 75 degrees. And I think it's just starting to hit an equilibrium point. It might get to 80, but it seems to be settling around 75, 76 degrees at the moment. 